today we're going to go over a little known but highly useful feature. It's called simulation mode. Now for today's example, I'm going to be using the Windows version, but you can follow along on any instance of iFly. To show off this first feature, we'll need to input a flight plan. In this case, I'm going to be going from McKinney up to Angel Fire. Now, let's say I want to visit my family in Lubbock. In that case, all I need to do is rubber band the flight plan by performing a long press and then dragging it to wherever I want to go. Now, keep in mind for today's example, though, that I'm in vector mode and it's a little bit cleaner on the screen, but this will work no matter what style map you have up. Now, let's get back into the flight plan and hit optimized altitude. So that way we can let iFly do the hard work of finding the best altitude for me to fly today. So to get into sim mode, let's hit menu and then start simulation mode. It's that simple. Keep in mind that at least for this video, we are going to be including demo traffic just so you can see what it looks like. All right, so now let's hit auto fly flight plan. And again, just for the example, so you can see what it looks like, we're gonna hit 5,000 knots. Although I have a sneaking suspicion none of us are going to be flying the International Space Station. Now, if you look at the 3D view, you'll see us following the boxes and the highway in the sky. Now, this feature is exceptionally useful when trying to test out a new autopilot or really anything that takes GPS data you have rigged into your iFly, or if you're flying into a new area and you want to see what 3D views look like. The possibilities really are endless here. Now, we can cancel simulation mode by simply just going back into menu and then stop simulation mode. Okay, so let's say you have iFly on a device like a desktop computer that doesn't have a GPS receiver, but you still wanna do some flight planning and you still wanna use iFly. How do you do that? This is where we've got you covered. All you have to do is simply navigate the crosshair over where you'd like to either start flying from or start planning from. In this case, I'm just going to make it over Lubbock. From here, we will restart simulation mode, but this time we're going to hit show sim controls. Now you'll see on the right hand side a climb rate, a track, and a speed adjustment panel. But crucially, now your aircraft is right over your crosshair. Keep in mind that because we are already starting at a known point in the flight plan, it's already going to be set at the previously determined altitude, in this case about 12.5. The final option here is to replay an ADS-B recording, which you can replay previously saved flights with ADS-B traffic hits if you have that option enabled. To enable it, all you need to do is simply go to Menu, Setup, ADS-B, and then click Options. From Options, make sure ADS-B Logger is checked. You will need to have Logging enabled in order to record a flight that can then be played back in simulation mode. As always, we certainly appreciate every single one of you, and we couldn't do this without you.